Welcome back everybody. There's been uh, an important question floating around the gaming community here on YouTube. And it is... What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> it's really interesting. <laughs> oh, it's something. Anyway, the question was, are you a gamer first or a collector first? You know what? We do play a lot of games. But, I do like to collect games. You really <laughs> do. So this is a tough question. Tough enough that this is the third time we're recording this now. That's <laughs> so true. First time, Dennis made us lose our train of thought. Yeah. Also alcohol. Second time, microphone wasn't on the proper setting. We were whispering really low. And third time, well, we'll see if this is the last time. <laughs> we'll see. Before we decide whether we are gamers first or collectors first, let's kind of, I had the thought of, let's name off what we enjoy about each. Yeah, a pros, pros list. A pros, pros list. A pros, pros. First of all, like when I think of gaming, I think of coming down to the game room. This this whole atmosphere is just built around gaming and all the games that I love. and. You come down here and you just step away from being an adult for a while. You do. And this is like your happy place. It is. Yeah, you get to experience stories. You know, like people watch movies and they get to step away from life for an hour and a half, two hours for a good story. Well, it's the same thing when you play a game. It is, it is. Yeah. And you can have any story that you need that day. Yeah. We've had so many great experiences here. Just off the top of your head, what has been your favorite game you've played lately? Bayonetta. Bayonetta. You wouldn't experience it made me that laugh. in real life? Oh. You probably could. <laughs> no, Somewhere. You, no, you probably couldn't. <laughs> Nobody right. has a hair suit. No, but it looks well, like some men have a hair suit, but that's like... not the experience you have. <laughs> For me, it would probably have to be uh, Tomb Raider or Uncharted. I've gotten into a few more of those this year. Mm -hmm. So, you know what? I'm probably not going to go around with my pickaxe climbing a mountain, jumping into a helicopter or whatever this year. So, it's a bit of an escape. It's a bit of an escape from real life. There's so many different genres of gaming. There's something oh, yeah. out there for everyone. If you like the action style of games, if you like a great story, if you like puzzles, if you like platforming, like yeah. or you just want to do like a collect-a-thon there, you want something chill, there's games like, you know, for exactly. everyone really. There's... Or if you want a couch co-op, which is another big pro. I love couch co-ops. Couch co-op, if I can pick something to play, Good single player game or good couch co-op game. I'll take couch co-op game every day. It's just time that we can spend together yep. completely unplugged because you cannot have a device in your hand. Yeah. And it's so weird because these things were invented to bring everybody closer <laughs> together and yet all they do is bring everybody further apart. It can bring people from across the world closer together, I guess. Yes. But the person sitting across from the table from you, you just keep getting farther away. Because everybody's doing this. Yeah. Right? So, I, you so. know what? We just put our devices to the side. Yep. We pick up our controller. And we have to interact with each other. We have to. If it's not a co-op game, you could be playing a two-player game. We'd be smack-talking each other. It's just, like, it's so much fun. Oh, it's, yeah. Games are meant to be fun. Yeah. It's, it's, if games were work, then I wouldn't be bragging about, oh, I have 1,100 work at home. Yeah, great. exactly. You know? <laughs> exactly. It's great for family time. Yeah. It yeah, can every, be. Everything in moderation is great there. Yeah. Like any kind of time. Like me and Alex have been spending his March break down here uh, plugging away at yeah. Punch Out on Wii. Yeah, Punch Out on Wii. And but Wii Sports is a fun family game. That's a good game too. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so there's so many opportunities to have fun with your family gaming. We've had as many as 10 people in the game room, but we can have three different games going. We can have a four player game going on the big screen. Yeah. And a couple people can be sitting at the bar playing on the TV behind the bar. Oh you know? yeah. 
and it's, it's super interactive. You're yep. you're talking, you're smack talking, or you're playing together. You're having a great time. People can be watching while yeah. you're playing, and we're all taking turns. And yeah, it's what we do with the Pandora's box, the arcade stick. Yeah, it's a great time. Yeah. Probably favorite time gaming down here has to be new the new Super Mario Bros on, on the Wii, Wii. four when, player game. Oh man, like yep. the tear of laughter just like flowing <laughs> flowing because we were I, having so much fun i was literally each other no oh, you guys are having fun killing me <laughs> that, that's bullshit anyway it was, i was still laughing my butt off even though guys were assholes and killing me but yeah sometimes your friends are assholes <laughs> <laughs> i think that pretty much covers it for gaming gaming that's pretty much everything yeah. i enjoy about gaming there like it takes me away from adulting it does yeah it does so the collecting side of it what do i enjoy about collecting well i really enjoy the hunt i love oh, it when me and you go out on saturday the thrill of the hunt is awesome yep it's not always thrilling and then there's those start the car moments you get it We're, we've been lucky not enough often but no. a few times a year once or twice a year we'll yep. get one we're just wow i can't believe they had that there for oh, that yeah. price that was amazing it's taken us to different places yeah we've traveled to go hunting in different areas yeah you we've know, before even before covid before covid yeah. we've even been to quebec everything was gaming there we went to a lot of different shops we went to the barcade which was, was amazing. Yeah. We just had the best time collecting and I guess that was kind of it, a gaming experience the, the too. The collecting but. was the reason why we went there. Yes. But we got the experience of being up in old Quebec City there. Yeah. That's a beautiful place. Oh my right? God, it was gorgeous. Yep. And had we not been collecting, would Maybe we have we gone? Maybe. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. know. That was kind of the thing that that brought we'll us, there. us there yeah. yeah yeah we also went to pei to collect and then we went to fredericton, fredericton. and then we do our weekly running around yeah here in Moncton, get to know all. all the place different places we yeah. go we talk to everybody it's it's kind of an interactive fun experience for us yeah. we just get to it's talk to everybody when we go out because i think because of collecting and the gaming together as a hobby uh everywhere we go everybody kind of has the same thing either they're collectors or they're gamers or they're both it's... they'll they'll tell you about games you gotta try that one yeah you know yeah. oh well, yeah really what, what is it about you it's, know? it's something i might not have heard of some of my funnest times yeah i i just i enjoy just the time me and you go out every saturday it's our yeah. routine we go out we get to hang out get away it from is. the child for a little while that's the best yeah <laughs> <laughs> Another part of the collecting that I enjoy is the aesthetics of the game room. I was on a mission here for the last two years to kind of fill the game room up as much as possible so it looked decent while we're filming on YouTube, but it also it looks good for when we have oh, people yeah. of our friends come over and they look and they're like, holy crap, man. And then they start looking on shelves and seeing what you got and, oh, you got that one and that. And then, and then it inspires conversation. Yeah, well, where'd you get that? Yeah. How much did you pay for that? Yeah. yeah. Or just like little pieces of your life your history yep. of your childhood. Oh, I You're remember like, when I beat that. Yeah, yeah. or like yeah. I remember my 20s and it takes you back to that era, yep. that time in, you know, in your life. Mm -hmm. We're like, ooh, I played that when I was eight. Yeah. It's just fantastic to have those memories and we wouldn't have them if you couldn't physically put the game in your hand and talk about it. I mean, I could have just all emulation. There's nothing wrong with no, emulating games. We have, I have machines here that I have games that have ROMs and emulation exactly. there, right? I like the aesthetics of having a physical yeah. copy and for when we have company over mm -hmm. in the game room start looking around like Dennis will come over you know quite regularly and then still looks still on look shelves to see what we might have got that was new yeah so. and nothing is better than when you have all played the games you have that physical game and you can talk about it yeah. so I think that's a bit of both but if you didn't have that physical game like you might not would it inspire about... conversation yeah I yeah. don't know but there's there's so many pros on either side yeah. that I just it's hard to make that final decision. If I could only do one, what would it be? Yeah. If I can either play games or collect games. I collect them but I can't play them. You know do you know what I mean? Yeah. That's a tough that's tough. I think I would choose play the games. Yeah. hundred percent of the time. And you know what? If this was a question we asked ourselves a couple years ago when our collection was small, it might be different. Yeah. But now that we have all these games and arguably probably a lifetime's worth of games at this point, 
Yeah, we got about 1100. Is there any need for more? You know, it doesn't necessarily change our final decision, but it has to factor in, I think, a little bit. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Another question we ask ourselves, would this be different if finances were different? Absolutely. Yeah, so that's there's so many questions that you could continually ask yourself. Are we gamers? Are, are we collectors? Are we ready to answer? Oh, yeah. Yeah? I'm okay. Ready. I'm ready. I think this is something we can answer together because yeah. I think we've talked about this enough that we know. And oh, yeah. Yeah. I think it's, it's a, you know, a duo answer. We're collectors. Right now at this stage in our life. Yeah. I'm a collector. I say that at this stage of my life, I'm a collector. I've always been a collector. You have been. I started collecting old toys from when I was a kid when you were pregnant with Alex. Yeah, you did. Because it was that nostalgia. I want my son to be able to have, you know, be able to play with these awesome toys that I had that made me happy when I was a kid. Yeah, yeah. So then later on, I think when he was around four, I took him to the comic book store. And before that, I had never been in a comic book no. store. So we were there. I wanted to get him interested in reading. In reading, yeah. So I grabbed the comic just because I want to support the local business. Alex didn't get anything that day, but I got one. Yeah. And that became my addiction of collecting comics and a couple thousand comics later. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And I have my regular file, I go there, I read, I read comics every day now. Do you know what though? I kind of wonder if this was all leading up to gaming. Because we had Alex, it inspired you to want to recollect your childhood. So yep. toys were part of your childhood, but then as parents we were like, you know what? It's important to want to your read. child to like have a love of reading. Yep. And then it came to gaming because you had these nostalgic. Yeah, well, when he, once he got into gaming, then I the nostalgia bug hit me again. Yeah. Oh, I want to play these great NES couch co-op games that I enjoyed when I was a kid. I want to play them with my son. Yep. So I started off small. I started collecting the stuff that I had when I was a kid. So yep. I wanted him to enjoy. And then the the, the bug got me there. Mm -hmm. The addiction got me. And I started looking on YouTube and people showing all these different games. These, you know, that I have never even seen before. I'm like, holy crap, that would be fun to play. Oh, yeah. And then that's how it starts, right? <laughs> yeah, and then you got me into gaming and collecting. Yeah. yeah. So it's been an entire family, I don't know, addiction. Addiction of collecting and yeah. gaming, but an addiction we do in moderation. Oh, yeah. So Early on in my just... life, I didn't have the expendable income that I had now. No, no. So right now, at the time in my life, there were, you know, we don't have many bills, you know. Mm -hmm. We're actually working extra hours at a different job. Yeah. There, and, and I had done the same thing. Yep. So there there was extra income and less time to play, so we're reflecting more. Now I, I got a little more time to play. Yeah. And then the, and later on, now when I'm getting close to retirement, there won't be that expendable income. But I'll still have my collection and I can still exactly. play games. And I think it'll have an ebb and flow where it will change depending on different points in your life. When you're younger, you didn't have as much money, so you gamed more. You played the games you had, you, which wasn't many. You played your games and then you traded them in for new games. Exactly. And then, oh, adulthood, I have more money. I'm not that smart, but I'm going to spend them all on games. <laughs> So you, you collect it more. And then once you get towards retirement, you're like, I can't even walk to the car to go to the game store now. So I'm just going to sit on my lazy boy and play my games. Yeah, but don't complain about when I was, you know, yeah. games were better. Yeah. <laughs> but you know what? I look forward to those times. I look forward yeah. to like you and one lazy boy, me and the other. Just well, I am a lazy boy. <laughs> just playing our games. Just yep. playing our games, having fun. Oh, God, guys, I hope you have that person in your life, too, that you can play games with. It, yeah. We have so much fun. Like, it's just us time. Oh, it's yeah. just time for us to be together. I think if all couples could game together, we would end wars. World peace. Just game. Game. World <laughs> peace. See? We figured it out. Now you guys just got to make it happen. Yeah. Our answer is we're collectors right now. Collectors. Collectors. I think I'll always be a collector. Yeah, I think so too. And uh, in the comments, anybody watching, this is an open tag. Yeah. If you want to make, you want to make your own video? We love would to love hear it. to see it. Let, let us know in the comments if you do make a video, maybe so we can find it. It doesn't matter if you're a small channel or you're a big channel. Share in the discussion. Put your video out. Let us know what you think. Or if yep. you don't feel comfortable putting it out, put it in the put comments. Put it in the comments. Let us know. Yeah. Until next time, guys. Game on. Game on. Or collect. Or, or,
We don't judge. I judge. Uh-uh. <laughs>